Her name's Darla Johnson. She's 29 years old. She was the prison librarian. She taught remedial reading and... Where is she? Is she alive? Maybe your daughter should wait outside. Go ahead, honey. You wait in the hall. I'll be right out, okay? I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. Miller's not talking. You were the deputy warden at Southwest Correctional? I just disappeared. If she's alive, we want her back. And if she's not... Mrs. Johnson, I know you've been through a traumatic experience, but the doctors tell us you're physically strong enough to make a statement. Go to your room. Mom? Are you okay? Stacy, what did I say? Darla. Your mom's a librarian, but she lets you underline in books. Things are sort of strange right now, huh? With your mom back. It's okay, it's normal. It's been a crazy week for you. Crazy year. I remember going through a really tough time when I was your age. It wasn't easy. My parents were splitting up. My parents aren't splitting up. Oh, I didn't say that. Why is that something you think might happen? You know, Stacy, it's okay. I think we all fear that. We see things, interpret things. Have you seen things that make you think that? I have homework. The people would like to call Stacy Johnson to the stand. Stacy, did you ever see your mother underline in any books? Yeah. When was the last time? Right before she went away. I saw her do it. She didn't know I was watching. I looked in her books. She underlined some words. I didn't know why she had done that. Until you heard Mr. Miller talk about it here in court? Yeah. It used to be a game we played, Mom and me, when I was younger. She'd underline words in my books, like, I see you. It used to make me laugh. Stacy, what was your home life like before your mom went away? It's okay. You can tell us. Mom always complained about Dad. Not to his face. To me. She said she was bored. She said she hated her life. She said... She wished it had turned out different. Thank you. 
Stacy, your mother has told us that prior to her kidnapping, you two used to argue a lot. Is that true? I, I don't know. Not all the time. But you did argue about uh, going out with your friends, uh, telephone time, homework. I guess sometimes. It didn't argue so much with your dad. No. It's fair to say that you like your dad a lot more than you like your mom. Yeah, but... In fact, you like spending time with your dad all by yourself. I guess so. But now that mom's returned, you can't do that anymore, spending time alone with your dad. Now that she's returned, so have the arguments about going out, about telephone time, homework. I didn't say that. But it's true, isn't it? Objection. He's arguing with the witness. Overruled. Stacy, you could say it. You don't like it that your mother's back, do you? I love my mom. And I'm happy she's alive. But I don't like that she lied to my dad. That she hurt him. The way she did. Fenner will rise for the reading of the verdict. In the state of Indiana versus Darla Johnson, we the jury find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. On the charge of aiding and abetting in the escape from a lawful detention center, we the jury find the defendant guilty. On the charge of armed robbery, we the jury find the defendant guilty. Strange how you can be married to somebody for 11 years and not really know them. You've been through such a terrible ordeal. I just wish it could have ended differently. I'm just glad it's ended. We can finally get on with our lives. Good luck, Mr. Johnson. To you and your little girl. Thank you. Uh, he built Darla up as a fantasy wife and mother. She could do no wrong. She must have done something, right? Because I think Miller felt the 